Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the famed canvas here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor as round one gets underway here. And I gotta think if you're Conor, this fight is happening in a different division. It's happening more than five years later. Gotta throw out the film on Act One, correct? You have to throw it away. You have to look at this as a different fight. Because the first time, Dustin Poirier was not a champion. He was not a guy that had been to the top of the mountain. Right. Now, Dustin has accomplished so many things, Conor has to view him as a completely different opponent. And you know Conor McGregor prepares as hard and as well as anyone. He has done his homework as he tries to make it 2-0 in his rivalry with Dustin Poirier. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Punch is blocked. Very nice leg kick there by Poirier. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over three minutes to go. over 20 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice left hand there by Conor McGregor. He's still got it. Yeah, he absolutely has it. He's one of those guys that understands distance management better than most fighters. Right hand upstairs. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike and the... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Use your hips to get back in the guard. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. 
Attacking all bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Deep breath. Breathe, breathe. Great round. That was perfect. Game plan is working perfect. Let's keep those hands even busier in this round. All right, DC, round two is upon us. Good Dustin fight. Poirier. Great. Against that man, you might recognize him. He is Conor McGregor. Slips to avoid the right. Strong hook lands. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's getting lit up. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Poirier goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. An uppercut in. react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. So we pull up the numbers here, 45 total strikes. Oh, he's out! He got him! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest. At two minutes, 51 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.